Hello, this is Riley of the Aurora. I'm stranded on an ocean planet. I am suing. Take this log as evidence for the lawsuit. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. I remember the Abraxas Prime massacre. I won the lottery that week. It was only a few hundred credits, but it was enough to get a fish and chips. Feels like there's something ironic there. After the knife, I saw I can make an air bladder. Just the word makes me need to go. But while I was doing that, I saw the filtering fish I need to make one. I made myself an air bladder and after quickly going again, I thought I'd try it out. I don't think it's working. It's not puffing up or anything. Maybe I can repair it with the magic repairing device when I make one. Oh, I got it. I think I'm counting that. Because of the crash, Altera is to blame for any injury sustained on this planet. By me. And the others, I guess. Where are the other life pods? I guess I need to fix the comms. Huh? Or maybe after a little lie down. When I was looking for the caves again, I found a cargo box from the Aurora. It had some sort of broken machine in it. Courtney indicated I could scan it, and then it disappeared. She said it was half the fragments I need to make the sea glide. How does a sea glide? Don't you glide on the sea? I found some caves, but they were right next to a load of wreckage from the Aurora. Really big bits too. I'm surprised the paint survived, really. Must be high quality stuff. The paint survived, but the ship couldn't enter orbit without blowing up. What does that tell you? Seconds. In other news, the air bladder's really good, and to make it easier, I can just go as I fly up. Get some nice air sometimes. I did see a weird space ball there, though. I scanned that too. There were lots of cargo boxes, a couple of the same broken machine from before. Yeah. Courtney said I acquired a blueprint for a sea glide. Oh, a sea glide, not sea glide. Sea glide, the, um, the the underwater segway thing that CEOs use in their promotional videos. That makes more sense. 30 seconds. Looking around, I found a couple more things to scan. They gave me blueprints for a countertop. God knows where I put that in the life pod. And the space ball. New blueprint acquired. Turns out it's something called a grav trap. Never heard of it. Sadly, the big box is locked. Don't know what's in it, but it was in a box like that that I found the scotch I didn't have. Plus side is, I found a couple of sulfur plants. When the light still didn't work, I decided to do it the hard way. That is not what I thought it would look like inside. Kinda reminds me of... never mind. I found lots of them. I've got a lovely bunch of mushrooms, doopy doo, here they are all sitting in my bag. I've got big ones, big ones, pretty much just got big ones. Just give it a lick, a flick and- Ah! Oh, my tongue! Beginning to feel my tongue again. <clears throat> oh. Courtney told me not to lick the mushrooms, but that's the same advice my friend's mate's dealer gave me, and I'm not going to start listening to a drug pusher. With everything I needed, I could finally make the repair tool. kind of sparky and it makes a weird noise if you hold the trigger. Lightport secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Is it that easy to use? I'm never hiring an IT guy again. Screw it, I'll fix my own computer from now on. It's nice to have the lights on, but next up is the comms.
Looks like the rescue team have already tried to contact me. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Hmm. What do I do in the meantime? <laughs>